Hi guys! So today's tutorial is a fun summer look inspired by my personal favorite summertime snack and the shade of watermelon soda from Jeffree Star's limited edition summer collection of his Velour liquid lipsticks. So if you would like to see how I got this crazy fun watermelon inspired look, please keep on watching. So I'm going to start out by priming my eyelid with the Bare Minerals 5-in-1 Advanced Performance BB Cream Eyeshadow. I think I've used this in almost every tutorial just because I'm so obsessed with how it covers the veins in my eyelids. Now to set the eye primer, I'm going in with my Vice 3 palette and taking the shade Truth on a Sigma Precision Round P82 brush. And again, I am just applying this all over my eyelid to set the primer and give me a nice solid base to work with. Next, I'm going to be taking the shade Downfall on a Sigma Flat Angled P88 brush. And this is just a nice warm tone matte brown, so I'm buffing it into my crease to give it a little definition. Starting in on my pinks, I'm going to take the shade Alien, again from the Vice 3 palette, on a Sephora Precision Powder Brush. And I am just applying this all over my lid and up into my crease. Now I'm going to take the shade Alchemy on an e.l.f. crease brush, and I am just buffing the shade into my crease and onto the outer third of my eye. And now I'm just taking a Sigma E40 tapered blending brush real quick to blend out the crease shades. Switching palettes now, I am going in with the Too Faced Pretty Rebel palette, and I am taking the shade Totally Fetch. And I am using a Sigma E45 small tapered blending brush to place this on the outer third of my eye, and blend this up into the crease as well. To blend this out, I'm taking the same E40 Sigma brush and I'm dragging it out just a little bit onto my outer corner so it will blend with my wing. For my hot pink wing today, I'm going to be using Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Watermelon Soda and a Japanese liner brush. Now his liquid lipsticks are safe for use on the eyes, which is one of the reasons I've been wanting to try them out. So I did pick up a couple of shades from his limited edition summer collection, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will definitely have a hot or hype review video coming up on these liquid lipsticks. So in order to apply this liquid lipstick as an eyeliner, I am taking a couple of swabs of it on the back of my hand and then dipping into it with my eyeliner brush. And I'm starting from the inner corner and just dragging this out, trying to match up with the wing on my other eye. So I think my wings are about as even as I'm going to get them. It is a little bit tricky to use this liquid lipstick as an eyeliner just because it is a lot thinner than a regular eyeliner, but once the color dries down matte, it is absolutely stunning. Now while my liquid lipstick liner dries, I'm going to line my waterline with the Sephora Nano Pencil in the shade Pure White, and I'm going to tight line with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Swerve. This is just going to help my lash line look a lot more full, and the white is just going to make my eyes pop and also look like that white part of the watermelon rind. And now going back in with my Vice 3 palette, I'm going to take this green shade Dragon and a Sephora Pro Smoky Liner number 24 brush. And I'm just running a liberal amount of this along my lower lash line and then bringing it into my inner corner. For mascara, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara. And this is my current favorite mascara because it just makes my lashes look so long and fluttery. Now my eyes are basically done. I still want to do a little bit of highlighting, but first I want to clean up any fallout from the eyeshadows, so I'm going to go ahead and do my face. I'm going to prime with the Smashbox Photo Finish Color Adjusting Primer because I want to remove any redness in my face. And this is especially important today when I have a lot of pink and red toned eyeshadows on. I'm going to do a little bit of color correcting under my under eyes using the Cover FX Peach Clicks Corrector. And I am just blending this in with my pinky so I can be very careful that I don't mess up my eyeshadow. For foundation, I am using my Olay and CoverGirl Simply Ageless Foundation in the shade 210 and a Damp Beauty Blender. Now I definitely need to clean up around my under eyes and on the inner corners of my eyes just a little bit more because the pink shadow fallout is making me look like I have black eyes. And to do that, I'm going to be placing the Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflage and Concealer in the shade 10 Fair on my inner corners and under eyes using a Sigma Precision Tapered P86 brush and then blending that all out with my Beauty Blender. I may have gotten just a little bit too much product on my face, but we're just going to blend it out really well. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my face using my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil and an Elf Fluffy Face Brush. I 
I still want to look bronze, but since my eyes are so bold, I want to go for more of a matte look. And to do that, I'm going to be combining these two shades from the e.l.f. bronzer palette and buffing that all over the outer portions of my face. And to do some soft contouring on my nose, I'm going to be taking the darker matte shade from the e.l.f. bronzer palette and an e.l.f. flat angled brush. For my actual contour, I'm going to be taking this warm brown shade tan from the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette in an e.l.f. contouring brush. And I am just buffing this into the hollows of my cheeks to give my face some definition. Now that I have cheekbones again, I'm going to apply this blush called Tango from Hikari Cosmetics using an e.l.f. blush brush. And this blush is highly pigmented, so I'm just swirling a little bit of that onto the apples of my cheeks and blending it back towards my cheekbones. Now that I have a nice rosy flush, I'm going to highlight with the shade Ice Queen from the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette and an e.l.f. fluffy eye brush. I picked this highlighter because it is a frost, so it doesn't really have any sparkles in it, which is exactly what I want for this look. And this is just going on my cheekbones and then up above my brow bone just a little. And I'm also going to use it to highlight under my eyebrows. For my eyebrows, I'm going to use the Maybelline Brow Drama Brow Mascara in the shade Deep Brown. And as you can see, I am combing them just a little bit thicker than they are naturally, just to complement the bright eyes. And then for lips, I'm going to prime them by using the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment. And then for lipstick, what else could I use but the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Watermelon Soda. This stuff seriously smells like Watermelon Jelly Ranchers. So right now, my first impression of this lipstick is that it is just a little streaky, but the color is gorgeous, so I'm excited to try more of them. So this is the final finished makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this watermelon soda inspired tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know what other colors of the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick line that you would like me to use in a tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this look is a little bit crazy, but I had a lot of fun creating it, so I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching it. If you did and you would like to see more tutorials from me, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Hi guys! So today's makeup tutorial was inspired by this bright and bold corally lip but I wanted to make it soft and wearable for daytime in the summer.